We're now hearing about different strains of the coronavirus being found across the world and here in the U.S. One variant found next door in Georgia. Although doctors believe the vaccine will protect against them, people still have a lot of questions. Our Kenesha D spoke to an expert at Hudson Alpha to get some more insight. We hear there are now virus variants, more contagious strains. We hear from local scientists on what this means in the Tennessee Valley. The key here is that there are multiple changes in the genetic structure and the genome of these versions of the virus. Dr. Neil Lamb at Hudson Alpha Institute for Biotechnology says there are some concerns with these variants. Many of those changes are in the gene for the spike protein. That's what the, it sits on the outside of the virus and it's how it binds to human cells and gains entry to infect the cell. According to Hudson Alpha, the UK B.1.1.7 variant has 23 variants and is 60 to 90 percent transmissible, which means it is more contagious. There's also the South African variant, which overlaps with the UK variant. Even if this particular version doesn't make you sicker, doesn't increase the likelihood you're going to die. If you're increasing the number of people with COVID, you will therefore also increase the number of people that have to go to the hospital because they develop serious COVID. Reports show these new strains of the virus have already reached the U.S. in at least eight states, including California and Texas. Lamb says work is underway to see if the variant has made it here in the Tennessee Valley or nearby. In order to know if the variant is here, you have to have a pretty robust screening process. That's generally more than the kind of test that you go that tells you, do you have the virus or not? Lamb believes we could see some answers soon. Uh, I think that we will, over the next few weeks, begin to get some of that testing to give us that answer, but we don't yet have the level of detail that we need to pick that up. Putting the Valley first, Kenesha Dees, WZDX News.